Prague is spectacular and there's much to see and do in this historic city. A favorite place, and in my opinion, one of the world's best curated museum experiences, is the Lobkowicz Palace in the Prague Castle grounds. The noble Lobkowicz family lost all their properties twice and regained them twice. First to the Nazis during World War II and second to the communists in 1948. Their story is fascinating and our experience in the Lobkowicz Palace takes you on an intriguing journey of this important family. Powerful moments that actually, at one stage, made me cry. The first Prince Lobkowicz called the palace home in 1568, and through the passing centuries it grew into a center of influence and power, with the family a rare source of continuity in Bohemia. But in 1939, the world changed. Maximilian Lobkowicz was forced to flee the family home of nearly 400 years on just a moment's notice. My grandmother was on a train. She overheard some German soldiers talking about the big event that was going to be happening, the takeover in Czechoslovakia, wired my grandfather, and he was able to get out with my dad uh, the night before the Nazis invaded the country. Maximilian returned to his beloved palace in 1945. But when communism swept the country just three years later, he had to escape again, leaving with just his hat and his coat, never to return. As a result of the restitution laws, in the 1990s, Lobkowicz Palace and nine other estates belonging to the family were finally returned after over 40 years. With significant restoration, the palace is immaculate once more, and the family have chosen to share with us one of Europe's greatest private collections of art, treasures that span nearly five centuries. A lot of these things have been hidden for so long. We came across many of these things lying in depositories in damp conditions or not having been up on walls for a long time. So it's wonderful seeing them come back to life. It's such a pleasure to see things restored. With inside access to the Lobkowicz family, Viking offers a privileged experience here. Every room, every display speaks to the family's fascinating royal past. This is the Lobkowicz coat of arms. So your coat of arms always has to be presented with the crown. That was extremely important. And the crown important. means that That meant it's... we could marry the kings and queens and that we were all born princes of the Holy Roman Empire. Though titles were abolished long ago, the crest remains an important part of the family heritage. And it's still worn today on a signet ring on the left or the right little finger. Strolling amid one of the largest private art collections in Europe is a real treat, providing an insider's view of life in Bohemia, along with a diverse collection of rarely shown masterpieces, including two significant canalettos and Bruegel the Elder's haymaking one of the pinnacles of European landscape painting. This little guy here, can you see him there? It's a whole painting, actually, in, in and of itself. itself. Yes, if you put yes. a little frame around it, it looks like, doesn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Isn't that wonderful? But one of the most unexpected exhibits included this. Yes, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. This remarkable music is dedicated to the Lobkowicz family, Beethoven's faithful benefactor. Had it not been for the Lobkowicz family, some of the best known pieces of classical music would not exist today. If you look here, you'll see he's writing and scribbling and making everything there. There are also handwritten manuscripts from Mozart and Haydn, along with instruments played by some of the world's greatest musicians. Enjoy these priceless artifacts, followed by a private concert in the Baroque Concert Hall. The history of music in our family is really about their patronage of music. It reached its apex with the seventh Prince Lobkowitz. That particular Lobkowitz spent, I would say, a good part of the family fortune on music, but he enjoyed it, and I think we're all better for that. Lobkowitz Palace is one of the most significant cultural sites in the Czech Republic with many items that can be seen nowhere else in the world. After enjoying the compelling story of this royal family, pause to savor an elegant lunch in the Lobkowicz family's original living quarters. Let Prince William guide you through the authentic, continuing story of his Bohemian family navigating their way through the centuries. I look forward to welcoming you to glorious Prague and to our family's palaces and princely residences. 
I'm William Lobkowitz, hosting Viking Guests in the heart of Bohemia. Viking River Cruises. No one can show you the real, regal Czech Republic like we can.